action. What do the gurus make of their best efforts? We've got to work it out for us because we've got one guy who is in for six seconds, then he leaves. We've got another guy who takes 15 minutes to go up and ask for a light. Uh, and we've got one guy pretending he's a panda. This is a challenge. After their disastrous first attempts at approaching women, Adrian, Dave and Neil are about to get a masterclass from their gurus. Their instructor, Wayne Elise, makes the first move. Hello. How are you? Hey, I like your red shoes. If you click them together, I think you'll go back to Oz someplace. What's your name? Natasha. No, it's not. You're just making it up. So Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy, okay. The truth comes out. <laughs> Wayne's sidekick, Johnny, is not far behind. I love those glasses. Sorry? Those glasses. They they're really cool. Yeah, they're really cool. Where'd you get those? In Canden. Canden? Canden Market. I'm really impressed with all they're doing. Kind of making me nervous because they're setting the bar pretty high. I don't feel I've got that much, much chat in me sometimes. <laughs> He is getting away with the whole touching thing. <laughs> so she's touching him back as well. Yeah. Is she? Yeah, every time he touches her, I've seen her hand go across and touch his arm. Mm. So he's getting complete interaction. They even get a glimpse of how their lives could change as Johnny gets a girl's number within the first five minutes. Very good. The point that you want to take away from that is like, you know, Johnny and I aren't necessarily special. You can do the same things. You know, our job there wasn't to go pick up girls or do anything like that. It was just to go interact and have good, solid interactions. And that happened. You guys can all do that. So after seeing the masters in action, it's back to the classroom for lesson number one. The first thing we're going to teach you is the approach. If you don't approach a woman, nothing's going to happen, right? There's three parts to a good approach. Smiling, walking tall and confidently, and applying Kino, which is touching. Now that may seem like a stretch because you're British and British people don't like to touch each other. But trust me, if you touch someone when you approach, they're gonna feel more comfortable and at ease with you. So make sure you do that as much as possible. When you first walk up, even touch their, touch their shoulder a little bit, touch their arm, you know, not their back, back of their neck because that would freak people out. So we're gonna work on your whole approach. When you come in, how you're walking, how you're vibing. Hey, how you doing? Good. Uh, okay, stop, stop. Don't ask a question okay. unless you want an answer, right? Right. That's how you know. What? That's how you know. My name is what? You gotta speak louder. Uh, go back. Ask me how I am. How are you? Louder still. How are you? You're, no, louder. Yell it. How are you? Loud people don't scare people. Quiet people do. Six foot six Dave is so uncomfortable in his own body, the approach is his worst nightmare. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Okay, I want you to put your hands out of your pocket. Okay, keep your hands out of your pocket. Hi, uh, what's your name? Uh, Sarah. Uh, is that right? Sit down. Um, no, I don't think so. You have this tendency, your spare arm is kind of doing one of these things. So you kind of got like a, I'm a model, supermodel look. Yeah. So you're coming up and you kind of got this going and you go here. You, you want your other hand free, right? You want to be able to interact with the other person. You don't want to have to do this and then shake with the same hand and this is always behind your back. So keep that in mind. Get that out of there, right? Have these yeah, both I'm, free. Yeah, I'm really sort of self-conscious about my arms and stuff. I think that's what it is. If you're trying to hide something, right? If you're afraid of the length of your arm and people can see that, then it's going to make them uncomfortable. You're uncomfortable with your arms because you just don't know what to do with them. No, no, I don't. So we're telling him, touch the other person. Oh, hi, uh, what's your name? Johnny. Johnny, Dave, nice to meet you. Where's your hand, Dave? Oh. Hi, uh, what's your name? No, 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 no. Touch no, here, yeah. touch here, touch here. On the outside arm, always on the outside arm. Always on the outside arm. Okay. Uh, hi, what's your name? Susan. Susan, Dave, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, are you yours? I'm Johnny. Yeah, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you. I'm going to sit down here, shoot something really interesting and get to know you. <laughs> I found it really, really difficult what we've just done. Um, I'm very, very self-conscious about my arms. I, to, I don't like them dangling about my side. I have to have them in my pocket or behind my back. To find out it's as hard as it is just practising when it's not real, it makes me realise just how difficult it's going to be when we're out there just going up to women we don't know. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's going to be very fucking hard. But despite Dave's fears, that's exactly what he has to do next. 
Wayne's taken the boys out to a busy Sunday market to practice their new approach skills. It's a beautiful day, right? There's people everywhere. So today we're going to be walking up to people, we're going to smile, we're going to approach. We're going to touch someone on the arm, you know, we're going to build comfort with other people. You guys have to exude confidence when you walk up to someone. So when you say hello, shake their hand. After you get their name, smile. Dave goes in first, but he's forgotten to take his hands out of his pockets. He hasn't approached confidently, there's no smiling, and he's yet to even say hello. Hi. Oh, what's your name? Why? Oh, no reason. I'm just, you look like an interesting sort of person, so I thought I'd sit and talk to you for a sec. That knocked me completely straight away when she, she totally blanked me and it threw me so much. Yeah. I just, my mind went blank and I just thought, I want to give up, I want to I leave, I want to run away. One of the things about, like, if you have a bad interaction with somebody, you should immediately go get another one. Right. right. So Dave and Adrian battle on. What you, do you think you better give me a hand? But Neil's still struggling to make his first approach. Hey, there's a girl sitting there, huh? Sir? Yeah. Okay, what are you thinking? I think she's very pretty and I could seriously screw this up. Yeah, you're right, you could. You could seriously screw this up. Well, the element of danger exists, but what does that matter? You have to put yourself on the line, you have to take a risk. Sorry, I can't. Adrian's on his third attempt, but isn't making much progress. Hey, did you see the parade, did you? Did you see the parade, man? Huh? Yeah, nice to meet you. There's three things that make somebody comfortable yeah. in an interaction. Yeah. It's touching, yeah. more casual touching, yeah. okay? Um, it's talking from the eye perspective, so they think yeah. that they know you, so they feel more comfortable with you. And it's using open-ended questions instead yeah. of closed questions. Yeah. If you do those three things together consistently and persistently, yeah. people will open up and start talking to you. Yeah. It's nearly the end of the day, and Neil still hasn't spoken to anyone. So Wayne steps in and gets tough. All right, quit bullshitting around. Go ask what she's eating. Go on. Um, hi, uh, um, uh, what are you guys having? This is the uh, ham cheese and the spinach. Oh, okay. Have, have you had one before? No. Looks nice though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm starting to feel like I'm gonna find this harder than I originally expected. I really want to try harder and I really want to succeed at this and I want to come away from this knowing that it's gonna change my life and right now I'm not letting myself do that. 22-year-old Neil is still a virgin and has a lot riding on seduction school. Most of my sexual experiences come from playing games of spin the bottle at parties. The way I look isn't, you know, the way girls would want me to look. It's completely knocked my confidence. Neil lives in Doncaster. Dad, keys up. Where he's a full-time carer for his invalid dad and his mum who has cancer. She wants to see Neil settle down. I'd rather it be sooner rather than later because I don't know what I've got left and what's been dealt to me, so pull your finger out. Sounds like a lot of pressure. <laughs> All I'd really hope to get out of this would be just to be able to, say, go to the cinema with a girl and then, you know, kiss her at the end of the night, just something like that, and that would be a fine start. Such humble goals seem a long way off for Neil, who's made little progress so far. So I noticed today, we were doing some approaches, yeah. and continually you told me everything's good, you're fine, you're optimistic. But I just had a feeling you weren't being completely honest with me. From the moment you actually picked somebody out, I thought, OK, that's somebody I have to talk to you now. And my nerves just kicked in, and I just completely lost control. So, so you felt a bit inadequate, basically. Yeah. You know, we're sort of a team, and, you know, we're helping each other out, and if I'm not doing as well as I could be, then I just don't feel like I'm progressing, and... I'm sort of going to be dragging people behind, maybe. You know, in the future, just, you know, be there. 
you know, tell me how you're feeling. Tell me exactly how you're feeling. In order for us to get what you want out of this and what I know you're capable of, you got to be committed to this process. Yes, absolutely. From now on, 100%. Good. Can I have a hug? Yes, you can. All right. The boy's poor performance means Wayne has to go back to basics. He's taken them to a bingo hall so they can practice talking to women without having to chat them up. All right, guys, we have a whole hall full of women. What this is about is just having fun. We want you to interact with women without any expectation you have 